We got a red dot. Good morning, Akron. Good morning, Canton. Welcome back to Three Throw to Go, Akron's hottest and fastest growing show. I'm your host, Hank Forrester, coming to you live from the Cable Studio inside Summit Mall, which I have a tendency to avoid during the holiday season, but here we are. We are live right now inside Summit Mall. I am with Erica. Hello. All right, so just so you guys know where this place is located, it's a it's a new kiosk. It's been here what two or three months now, right? Since last month. Since last month. So, wow, we're only a month in. We are right. See, see, see Starbucks. See the mecca of <laughs> all things that are good and holy inside of Summit Mall. And then right over there is the play area. So you could you can actually get your coffee, pop your kids over there, make sure there's two parents so one can watch the kids, and you can stop over here for the Candle Studio. So Erica, first of all, thank you for letting me on. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, so tell us, we, I, the first question I always ask is, what is your Akron story? We want to know about Erica. So I've lived in Akron for my whole life. Um, I've lived actually right down the street, um, and I've worked all around the area. Um, I went to Coventry High School, so I love being local, and I constantly get to see everyone I know here, which is amazing. Which so. can be good and bad, right? Yes, <laughs> so definitely. It's like, it's like, hey, and then all of a sudden you're working, and you're like, no, nah, I, yes, I'm going to serve you, but that's okay, right? Yes, all right. exactly. So, so, so let's talk about this location. So the Candle Studio uh, focuses on literally making candles. Yes. Okay, it's a totally new concept, and and... So initially, they had a location, I believe it's up in the Beachwood area? Yep, in the Pinecrest Shopping Center. All right, so they're up in Beachwood. So I, I know the owners uh, through Facebook and through DJ stuff in the past, mm -hmm. and I reached out to them and said, hey, you want me to cover your story? He's like, yes, okay. <laughs> so here we are in Summit Mall. This is the newest location. Yes. So now at this point, it's like a franchise, and they branched out. So they have yep. multiple locations, mm -hmm. okay? So what do you do here? So you make your own custom candles. So it's really awesome. What the concept is, is you have a clipboard with you and you go through and smell all of our different scent tins. So we have multiple, we have 54 here at our kiosk right now. So you smell through all of our different scents. Wait, 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 hold on, time out. 54 scents? 54 scents. 54 different S-C-E-N-T-S. <laughs> Sense that you could choose from in terms of making a candle. Yes. Okay. So we want you to smell through all of them. Smell every single one, figure out what you like, write down every scent that you like, and then what our job is, is we go through your list with you and figure out exactly what you want to pair together. Okay. So, all right. So uh, let, let's grab a list here. All right. So this is a list. Yes. So we've, we've got a, we've got a, we've got a menu here. So it's got earthy, spicy, fruitsy. Spa like herb garden, pines, floral woodsy, ocean tropical, musky bold, masculine, vanilla based, and holiday. Okay, yes. And then on the back, you got the kiosk scents that are there. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, and you, you offer drinks while people are hanging out. So, yeah. so it, we, you can't see it yet, so we'll just kind of pan down here. By the way, I'm using my brand new tripod for the first time ever. I'm so excited because this thing is tight. All right, so I'm gonna pan down just a little bit. So, right here, you can see behind us, this is a this is a candle making thing, uh, <laughs> area, location. So I don't even know what all this is. So we've got we've got a lengthy spoon. I'm assuming it's used for something. Yeah. This is to create your own scents. Yeah. So you pick it out. It's kind of it's kind of like have you ever been to Barrio, the taco place? <laughs> this is like the Barrio of candle makers. Okay. Um, so choose your product. Meet us at the pour bar. Pick up your scent and then all this stuff. So it helps you plant. What's this for? What's that do? So this is where you actually mix your own oils. Okay. So once we help you figure out which scents you want to use, <laughs> okay. we say normally two to three scents you pair together and then you get to mix the oils yourself. So you get to decide exactly how much of each oil you want to use. Okay. So that's how you kind of further customize the candle. Because it can be really strong or yeah. just a light little scent to it. Yeah, so depending on what three scents you choose, you can make one stand out more than the other um, and really have one dominate your fragrance or just find your perfect balance of the two to three. So how long does a typical candle take to make? So we say it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to get through the candle making process. That includes smelling through all the tins, making a label for your candle, and then also doing the fragrance mixing process. Okay, okay. 
Uh, what, give us a, give us an idea of what's it cost. What's a, what's a normal cost for a candle? So the candles range from twenty one to forty nine dollars. That includes everything, including the wax and the fragrance, everything other than tax. Um, and we have multiple options in between there as well. Now, do you do do you do single wick or do they have an option to do multiple wicks? How does that work? So we have majority single wicks, but we also do have a three wick option as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's my understanding that we're now gonna make a candle, okay? So, um, I, I, I was very brief and quick with the wife, and, and I said, listen, I, 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 she's like, I, I go, well, what do you want? <laughs> and so, we wanna, we wanna do a holiday candle. Awesome. So, talk me through, we got our holiday things here. I want your simple, basic, like what I would smell when I smell like a little bit of cinnamon with like a Christmas tree. Okay. How do I do that? We could definitely do that. So I would recommend you could do something like the cinnamon spice in there. And then if you really want to get that Christmas tree scent, you can go with the pine needles in there. Okay. And then you can maybe even add a little bit of the balsam fir in there as well to give you that super strong pine scent. Um, or if you wanted to kind of just give it like a warm holiday, you could throw some roasted chestnut in there too to kind of give you an all-encompassing type of Christmas scent as well. Okay. So So let's do the pine needles and the cinnamon spice. Awesome. How does that work? Definitely. All right, so now what do we do? So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna you want me to go sit over there? Sure. Alright, and I'll flip around the camera. Okay? Yeah, sounds good. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take <laughs> Hey, we can't. Uh uh uh, Erica, you gotta, you gotta just hit the hit the reset button. You'll be able to see both sides. Okay. Okay. All right. So let me uh, let me flip over there. All right. I'm gonna walk around. Walking around, walking around. Guys, if you are not seeing both of us on camera, you need to just go and you need to hit your reset on your video because right now we're both showing up. All right. So here we go. We're gonna be okay. right here. I'll sit. Okay, you're tall, so I'll try and get you in there. <laughs> there All right. We go. All right. So what do we do? Okay. So what you're gonna to want to do is first you'll want to write your first and last name on there. That's the first step of the process, just to make your picking up process a little bit easier. All right. I'm assuming there's a, a, a cooling process or something like that, um, and that way people can go shop and stuff, right? Yes. So they start the process and they go shop and come back, right? Yes. Okay. So, All right. so my scents are cinnamon spice and pine needles. Okay. So what you're gonna want to do first is you can smell them alone and then smell them together to make sure you like the scent combination. All right. So you'll want to take those and smell those and see what you think. I'm smelling spices. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is pine needles. Woo! Pine needles. Ooh, that is strong. That is strong. Ooh, cinnamon spice. Cinnamon spice. Of pine. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to work. My nose knows. My nose knows. Perfect. All right. So we got that. All right? So now what you're going to want to do is you get to mix the oils together. Okay. So this is where you'll want to take about a drop of each, put them in the top, and then you can take your spoon, stir it, smell it, and then slowly build your oil. Okay. So you kind of want to add, stir, and smell, and then just continuously do that until you get all the way to the brim. So just so we know, what's the difference between this side and this side? So you want to do the three-quarter ounce side. Okay. That's what matches up with the size candle that we're going okay. to use. Okay, which this would be like a triple one. Yes, Got definitely. It. But so, no, that, that makes sense, okay? Yeah. All right, so here we go. We're going we're gonna to mix craft time. <laughs> I don't know about craft time, but we're about to mix spices here, all right? 
Wow, this is really strong. Just so you know, pine needles has a very distinct scent. Very distinct. All right. So we're gonna just do a little bit of that. Yep, just to see where you're at to start out. Okay. Taking my spoon. I feel like Kenny Crumpton right now. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that's good, that's good. That's good. All right. Going? Yep, keep going. Do I want to get to the top? You want to get it all the way up to the brim, fill it as much as you can. Alright, we'll go halfway in mix again. Again, I'm, I'm halfway in now, mixing. Now, now it's the cinnamon is actually overpowering the pine, so now I want okay. to add more pine. Yes, definitely. And wow. Once you start getting towards the end is where you kind of want to be extra meticulous just to make sure that you get your perfect blend. Okay. You guys, you guys following this? You want to get your perfect blend, okay? So here we go. I want to have, I want to, I want to smell more pine than I do cinnamon. Wow, we're there with that, okay? okay. Now I'll do a little more cinnamon. A little more pine, we'll check that out. You don't want to mess this up, because these chemicals, I'm sure, are expensive. So you don't want to waste them, right? <laughs> There's always a way to fix it. I wish you guys could smell this right now because it smells like, like pine cones on steroids with a hint of cinnamon. All right, we're good there. Let's do a little more cinnamon. Okay, more pine. Get near the end, so I want to be careful. Now, as these mix, do they separate or do they all kind of mix together? They all mix together, so it's really just creating your own custom scent. Okay, we're, we're getting we're getting dialed in now. Be real careful, drop it, drop it, drop it. Once again, folks, if you're just tuning in live, we are live right now at the Candle Studio right here in the Summit Mall location. You can see for, for frame of reference, what is this, fashion something? Who is this? So it's it's right by the Sunglass Hut, all right? So let me check this out. All right, we got a winner. So now what do we do? You want to add just a little bit more to get it all the way to the top. Okay. So you want to make sure that you get the most of your fragrance and just fill it up to the brim. Five. I feel like I'm in chemistry class right now. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. All right, we should be even on that. Perfect. Good to go? Awesome. All right, we've got ourselves a, a full pipette. We're now going to add this, I believe. Yeah, so now I have the hot wax. 170 degrees. That's 170 degree wax. 170 degrees. We've got wax. It's 170 degrees. She's pouring it into a, a candle shaped uh, container. All right. Now just be careful. It is hot. It is hot. All right. <laughs> it is 170 degrees. All right. So now what you want to do is take the oil and just do a nice quick pour into the candle. Nice quick pour. So you want to just. Do I want to go it around? You can just. Throw it in really fast. You want to get all of it in there. Perfect. So you got to tip. You got to tip and pour really fast. Okay. Then you want to grab your spoon in one hand, hold the wick straight up, and then stir around the wick with your spoon. Like Perfect. Yep. And kind of stir from top to bottom. Get it all mixed together. Top to bottom. Perfect. I'm mixing. I'm mixing. I'm holding the wick and I'm mixing our candy. <laughs> You want to do that for about 30 seconds to a minute. So just keep on mixing. So from a technique standpoint, I'm just staying on one side of the wick and I'm going in like a circle because I know that's going to take it in a circle like around the whole wick. Perfect. I can smell it. I can smell it. Yes, it's very strong. It smells like Christmas over here. It smells like Christmas. <laughs> Awesome. Now, do you dye or color them at all? No, so they all come out white or slightly off-white, just depending on um, the essential oils in the fragrance. Okay. So then I can take that spoon for you. 
Okay. And then you can just let the weight go. Let the weight go. Yep, it'll just fall to the side. Okay. And then you get the final smell. That's good. Turned out really good. It's Christmas. Awesome. I made Christmas, honey. I'm bringing Christmas home. <laughs> so the last step is you make a label for your family. Okay. So here's your label. You can make a name for your candle. You can draw a picture. You can oh, wow, it's whatever colored. Whatever you want on there. Yeah, you can get as crazy as you want. So they got colored pencils and then markers as well. And you've got your, you got your label here. All right. So I'm gonna, I'll say, uh, Merry Christmas, Kate. I doubt she's watching right now. She's at work, so <laughs> she hasn't seen this. So she doesn't even know this is coming. All right, so I'll do, I'll do red and green and then purple because that's one of her favorites. So we'll go Merry Christmas. And I'll do Kate, that's the wife, right? <laughs> so Kate, exclamation point for the win. All right, we'll put this back. Beautiful. Nice and simple, I know it's backwards, but Merry Christmas, Kate, there it is, that's our label. All right, uh, uh, Erica, depends on the candle, it's anywhere in the mid 20s to upper $40 range, depending on what it is that you want done. Um, and again, it's all the process, right? You're making, you're literally making your own candle. So it's a lot different than if you go to the store and, and buy it yourself, all right? Now what do we do? So now you are finished with your portion of the process. Okay. Uh, the candle does take 90 minutes to set. Okay. So 90 minutes from now, it will be ready for you to pick up. Um, so from here on out, we let the candle harden for about 60 minutes and then we start the process of straightening up the wick. I was going to say, how do you do the wick? Let's talk about that. Yeah, so we actually <laughs> let the wick dry. Folks, if you, if you can't see, let me let me zoom in on that for you. <laughs> All right, so there's my candle right now. We're inside, uh, we're inside the container. You see the wick is off to the side, right? So as the candle dries, then you reposition the wick. Yeah, so we let it dry off to the side for the first 60 minutes. Um, so really the candle is just doing the work at that point, we let it dry, and then after that 60 minutes, the last 30 minutes is when we use it to really finish the candle up. Okay. So we straighten up the wick, give it a first blaze, so we get a nice hot wax um, on the top of the candle to give it just that perfect layer, and then we straighten up the wick, give it a little more time to harden, trim the wick, and then we do a couple more glazes just to make sure it's perfect. Okay, now I'm looking around right now at the studio, and there are, let's just count here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You could, so they can do 16 people at a time in terms of candles, all right? And again, they're located right here inside of Summit Mall. Um, just so you've been you've been working uh, probably a few weeks at this point. What what's the uh, what's the most you've ever had at one time? So we have had nine people here at one time, and it's really fun to be able to kind of have people here across the way and really all making candles interactively together. Okay, is there is there a from a from a wax standpoint? I mean, that's a pretty good sized container over there. I mean, capacity-wise, how many can you do in the course of a day, would you think? With our wax vat, we are able to handle, I would say, over 100 candles a day. 100 candles, okay. Yeah, okay. We, have, we can make plenty of candles. They are always ready. Our wax is always at 170 degrees ready to go. Erica's calling a girl's night. Erica, find your people. That's yes. great. All right, so when you go to dry these things, this is the rack over here. You just kind of put them off to the side, leave them over there? Yeah, yeah. So, like I said, we just have them sit by themselves for the first 60 minutes. They really do the work, and then that's when we start to go in the last 30 minutes. Okay. That sounds great. So, I... Again, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, of course. And, and uh, again, folks, this place is uh, the Candle Studio right here inside of Summer Mall. It's between Starbucks, which I know is a beacon for all of you folks that are watching this right now. And right, right next is right next to the Sunglass Hut, okay? So check them out. They're a local company. Again, they're run by local folks that, that live in Cleveland and Akron. 
Um, and, and that's all I got from here. Uh, I'll stop back in maybe to get this candle later. And, and I may even show this thing. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll put it on Instagram and do a little story about it in terms of our first burning. <laughs> <laughs> you watch. She'll, I guarantee we'll get home and I'll light it up and she'll be like, it smells a little bit too piney. <laughs> <laughs> then she'll have to come back and then make Then she'll have to one. come back and make her own. <laughs> hey, folks, thanks for tuning in. Until uh, 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 our next our next story is going to be, I believe, what, what day is it? Is it today Thursday? We're going to come to you live tomorrow night. I'm going to stop. There's uh, Look at Dave. Two, Dave, when is the game? When's Maslin play? They should be the feature game, right? Is it Saturday or Sunday? I know Maslin Tigers are going for the state championship. He's all excited. Um, tomorrow night, I'm going to stop out. I'm going to take the kids, and we're going to head out on the Christmas light loop. Right now, Highgate and Eastgate. It's Highgate high, high and Eastgate. So we got Highgate in East Akron. Wait, we got Highgate in Wadsworth, and we got Eastgate in East Akron. Those two houses right now are leading the voting in terms of our best holiday light displays. So we're going to stop out tomorrow night. I'm going to take the kids. We're going to film both of those locations, get them up online for you, all right? Uh, so that way you guys can continue to vote. And then on Saturday, please make sure you join us. we got a whole day out in Kenmore. So Kenmore has their Christmas fest uh, hol uh, sorry, holiday festival, all right? And that's all morning. Um, and then Rubber City Reviews, we're coming back to you. Oh, they play tonight. They play tonight at 7. Wow, Maslin's tonight at 7. Okay, well, I'll pay attention to that, and I'll keep tabs on that. Um, but uh, uh, tomorrow, again, we'll do the Christmas light displays, and then on, on Saturday morning, we'll be setting up, and Rubber City Reviews will be live once again from the Rialto Theater. The guys are going over some tremendous movies, um, including Knives Out and The Lighthouse, uh, and talking about the upcoming Star Wars and a bunch of other uh, good movies as well. So check them out on Saturday. And there's a whole thing, there's a whole list of things to do in the Kenmore area on Saturday, including an ugly sweater party at the Rialto as soon as we're done at Rubber City Reviews. And then on Sunday, um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't think I'm doing anything with 330 to go. But tonight also, we're going to be doing an interesting sip of solidarity story um, that's going to cover how folks celebrate Jewish and, and, and Christian Christmas, especially when they live in the same family together. All right, so make sure you check that out. We'll have that up live. Until then, I don't know where I'm going, but there ain't no sense of being laid. Erica, join me and say goodnight, Shirley. Good night. <laughs>